Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the structure and the growth patterns of the kingdom fungi. So first, let's discuss about the structural details of this kingdom of fungi. Fungi, they have got a number of elongated tubular filament type structures and these type of elongated filament type structures, they have been given a name that is hyphae. So basically, if uh, this is a fungus, then they have got some filament like structures like this. Okay, it's like flagella you can say. So these are basically termed as hyphae. So uh, these are the hyphae. Now, if these filaments we are talking about, this is a single filament. Now, if these type of filaments, they are branched, that is, if they have structures like this, there is branching. So then these type of hyphae have been given a term that is mycelium. Okay. So branched hyphae is termed as mycelium. In yeast, we know yeast is a single celled fungus. In yeast, what happens? The same cell we are talking about, it can function both in the vegetative growth phase as well as in the sexual reproduction. So that means the same cell can act in both the asexual or the vegetative mode of reproduction as well as in case of the sexual mode of reproduction. In some other fungi, what happens? The vegetative and reproductive phases, they are two distinct phases. So this is the case in most of the fungi that is the reproductive and the vegetative phases are two different phases and not like the yeast cells that the same cell can function as uh, can function both the phases that is vegetative and reproductive phase. Now the vegetative phase which we are talking about they have been given a term that is assimilative phase. So vegetative phase is also known as assimilative phase. Now let us look into the structure we were talking about that is a hyphae or a mycelium. Now we talked about that is the single filament type structure elongated it is known as a hyphae. Now let us look into this structure. If it would have been this single filament, the middle filament we are seeing, that uh, filament will be termed as a hyphae. But here, uh, this is a mycelium because it is branched we can see. So because of this branching, it is a mycelium. It will be referred to as a mycelium. Whereas if these branchings were absent, then these type of filaments would have been called hyphae. Now there are other structures that have been labeled over here. Some are like we can see though these are the Golgi apparatus. It is covered by a cell wall and inside the cell wall they have got plasma membrane. There is something called septum. We will be discussing about this septum in detail in the coming videos. They have got vacuoles also. There is presence of lipid body, mitochondria as well as the blue color we are seeing. These are the nucleus of these type of cells. Now. Uh, the fungi we are talking about, they mostly perform extracellular digestion. That means they are saprotrophic in nutrition. They have the capability to secrete digestive enzymes into the environment where there is availability of food. Now, these digestive enzymes, what it does is that they break down the complex uh, com uh, food components into simpler components which can be absorbed by these type of organisms. So basically this is a extracellular mode of digestion where the food is not uh, taken in as a whole. Instead it is digested outside and then the digestive products are taken or absorbed by the organism. They do not have chlorophyll so they cannot photosynthesize. That means since we are discussing they are saprotrophic or they can also be parasitic in nutrition. The single cell if a body of a fungus of the single cell if it completely gets converted into a reproductive structure, then these type of cells will be termed as holocarpic. So if a single body that is a fungus, it the whole body gets converted into a reproductive structure, it will be called as a holocarpic type of uh, structure. But in case if a part of the, the fungus, if that is converted into a re reproductive structure, then that part is known as the eucarpic type of uh, reproductive structure. That means a part of the thallus or the body of the fungus, a small part of the body of the fungus will be converted into a reproductive structure. Then it will be termed as eucarpic. So in this video, we have talked about the structural details of fungi and we have also talked about some of the growth characteristics of the fungi. So I hope you have understood and like this video. 
थैंक यू